Today, I'm going to show you how I fix the holes in the drywall. Here, we purchased the joint compound online. We left links in the description below of all the compound and paint we bought and tools. And here, I'm patching the small holes first. And that's pretty easy to do. You just jam some of the putty in there, the compound putty, and then just smooth it over. And you said when you were doing it, it was like, what was that you said it was like doing? Like icing a cake? Yeah. But it's not as complicated as you might think. A lot of people are terrified. This part's easy. The little holes are really easy. You just take a smaller putty knife and just do the same thing. This hole, it looks small, but it becomes very big. <laughs> these holes here, these are not, weren't too bad, but this hole is pretty bad, as you'll see here shortly. But it's not that hard to fix. I learned how to fix this from my buddy and boss, Levon, who I used to work for. He's a plumbing contractor. We used to bust holes in the wall all the time and we would repair them always. He taught me how to do this. I mean, I'm not a professional. I don't think of myself as a professional. There are a lot of people on YouTube that show how to do this probably even better than me. But this is how I do it, or how I was taught to do it. Saw it down. First I drew a line with a level, made sure everything was square, and then just sawing away. Now this tool, I bought this at the dollar store. This is a drywall saw. You can buy them online too. Oh no. Of course, you know, because uh, there was a big crack in the back I couldn't see, and yeah, <laughs> I made a bigger hole. <laughs> and I think it happens a couple of times. This one was giving me some trouble. trouble. But there were, I think, five holes this size I had to replace in this house. But I didn't film all of them because it's just repetition, and I don't want to bore all of you. But basically you did the same thing. I did the same thing, yeah. I just cut cut the hole out, put the backing in with some wood, mm -hmm. screwed that in and then screwed in the new piece and puttied it. You know, not puttied it, but dry, used the dry roll compound and just smoothed it over. Here it does it again. <laughs> mm, no. Yeah, it's cracks everywhere. It's okay. I want it done right. So, you know, I should have just cut it big from the very beginning. I should know better. I was trying to save the drywall, yeah, but we have tons of drywall. So, a lot. Well, I bought one sheet of drywall and had it cut at the home center into thirds. And I think I didn't even use a whole third no. fixing all the holes. We bought one full sheet oh, and yeah, we, yeah. I split it into thirds and I used one, almost one third of that. Almost. Yeah. So now it looks like a giant hole. Oh mm -hmm. no. I want to make sure it's right because there are earthquakes here and you know, it does. You don't want it to break again. Yeah, don't do this at home. I just took a saw, a circular saw and just like started chopping this bed frame up. Usually I use a table. Yeah, usually I just was too lazy to like set up the table. Really dangerous. It's okay. Kids at home don't do this. It's <laughs> a bad example. <laughs> right. And then you just slap in the wood. You know, and that wood just came off a bed frame that was left here at the, I don't know what you call that, for the mattress or the futon. Yeah, you put that under the mattress. But I'm not using it because it's old and mildewy. So mm. some parts were some parts were good. I used the good part of it. 
I didn't use the meldu -y part. Then all you want to do is secure this into the wall, right? With some drywall screws. I think I use an inch and a half yeah, screws or maybe inch and a quarter. I don't remember offhand. You just want to make sure that all four corners of the new piece that you're going to put on the backing that you can screw the corners in. That's the important part. So nothing bows out, right? right. So, yeah. And you want to countersink these screws so they're inside the wall. It's okay if it breaks a little, that's not a big deal because you're gonna use the compound to smooth everything over. Did you peel the wallpaper around it? Yes, some of it was already peeled. You have to peel the wallpaper around oh, it okay. because you want to smooth it, right? Mm -hmm. And then you, you want to try to get it to that. I'll never get that texture because that's just printed. Mm -hmm. But I'm not even good at texture myself. That's a whole other technique in that. That's the specialist. And then here I'm taking a level again and I'm cutting out the new piece. This is how easy it is. You just take a box cutter, you know, a utility knife and just cut it out, right? And you cut, yeah, and that's the size. And then you just cut the rest of it down the length so you can just score the board and then it'll snap it. And then you just score the other side and it's done. It's just that simple. Even you could do it. I mean, mm. it's not that hard. Here I'm just smoothing it out because I cut it a little over the line <laughs> with the utility knife. So I have to make sure it fits in nice and not too snug. You want it a little loose. That's the sides side up. Do you know what is the front and which is back? The drywall, do they have front and back? They do, but I'm just doing it this way because mm -hmm. that's the way I cut it out. Right. Here you just smear in the, the joint compound. I kind of went in an angle and just made sure it got in, in the crevice, the cavity, and just because you want that, so it bonds the two pieces. Right. Because you're gonna put it on the other, on the new cut mm. too. And you're gonna slap it in there and then screw it in. Make sure you get screws in all the corners. That's important. Right. Does it look like icing on cake? <laughs> it actually was not that hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, people are really terrified, like I said before, you know, but it's not really that bad just give it a try if you have to you know so the drywall compound yeah does they dry out if you leave the, the lid open the yes big jar? yes so the big jar comes with a plastic sheet that you press down mm. each time you do and it's air sealed right oh. the, the top so you it's not going to dry out uh, yeah. You cover with yeah. plastic. Every time I cover it with the plastic and then they s shut it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I just put it in a little trawl. Yeah, but I didn't have a trawl, so I just had like a an empty <laughs> container. container and right. I just used that mm -hmm. for, for this. But I mean professionally you should have a trawl to do it. <laughs> you know, but it's okay. It's okay, whatever we have. I made it work, so it's okay. It's not the first time I've done this, but you know, like I said, mm -hmm. I did this at work for a few years. You right. know. Can we do this compound on the hall in our apartment? We can fill the holes with this on the dry. I mean, see the, the problem wallpaper? is then you have to peel the wallpaper. Oh, I had to peel the wallpaper. Yeah, and then you you got to put the, the wallpaper back up. You oh, know? you can't use the director on oh, the it's gonna wallpaper. It's going to show up. It's going to show up like this. Uh -huh. yeah, it's going to look like this. Like, oh, you okay. see? Yeah, it's like when it dries. Yeah, it's so you usually have to peel the wallpaper, wallpaper and then put that and then put the wallpaper back down. Oh. I mean, usually if like a small thing, I just put like a little bit of silicone. Mm. The silicon uh, joint fungus, how does it yeah, the one in the tube? The joint 
chalk. Yeah. Chalk. I don't know. I think that's what it's called. Mm. Cock. Joint cock. Yeah. Cock. But here I'm just smoothing it over. You know, I'm not worried about how pretty this is going to be because, like I said in another video, I'm going to probably be putting the batten board up, wainscoting. So it's going to be hidden. Yeah. The top, you'll see, that has to be done nice. But you still want to, like, let it dry overnight, come back, sand it over, and then do another skim coat over mm -hmm. that, right? When you do a skim coat, you add a little bit of water to it. Mm. But it's really hard to get the spackle to come out perfect. And right. here I am the next day with the sander. That saw in the sander, we also have links to that in the description below. And these are just cheap, cheapo sand, orb sander, pommel or orb sander, but it actually worked pretty good. That little saw worked okay too. The dust go to the bag? Some of it, but then a lot of it was going all over mm. the place and the wind was blowing and it was like it blew all over you and yeah. you have asthma, it ain't mm. that nice. I couldn't stay there. I know, it's terrible. This week I'm gonna do the whole wall smooth when I do. Nice. Yeah, I got rid of the hole, you know. The small ones too. And here's the paint. You know, we decided to go with just like a white paint, and this was reasonable. But we think they were like about fifty bucks. Or... Yeah, in one electric can. Yeah, one one can, five gallon can. I guess. Yeah, it's about is. five gallons. So now I'm just going crazy. I know I didn't mask anything over. I was just trying to be really, really careful. The first shot, I didn't really spill too much. I didn't spill really anything here, but spill it in another room <laughs> because it's like it gets all like mm. but it actually didn't look bad i think i'm gonna go with this as a base anyways before you use the bigger rollers yeah it is better i like the smaller roller better it seems like i don't splatter it everywhere mm. like i did with the other one but yeah, i still I it spit a lot but when i did the ceiling it splattered everywhere in the other room oh even with the small one yeah it just does that because mm. of gravity mm, right i understand but i like the smaller one better i feel i have more a little more control with oh, it Oh, okay that's good the white looks good i mm. like the white i think i'm gonna stick with the white it's the base, but like when I do the batten board, I think we might do like a either an eggshell or some gray. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. It looks much better. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And it doesn't it getting rid of the smell because it really smells bad in here because all the rotted food and whatnot they had in here. And the animals. And the animals, so you know it's and it's making it brighter and bigger and it's, and the light keeps going out it's on a sensor <laughs> and sorry sensor. about that every few minutes yeah <laughs> it was driving me crazy because yeah. you couldn't do it and yeah it didn't work for me for I, some reason because you were short <laughs> shorter than me yeah. and then here i am in the in the living room no not the living room the dining room near the kitchen mm -hmm. Yeah, dining room. And I'm doing the ceiling. This is where it splatters. And I know you guys are like, oh, why didn't you mask off the floor? But the floor is so greasy and so, like, nasty with lots of gouges. I got to redo the floor anyways. So I might just, I might just put some kind of linoleum thing on top. Mm -hmm. I haven't decided. It looks like wood or peel and stick stuff. We're gonna have dogs anyway, so you know you kind of want something like that. But you know, it looks much better. Much better. And I mean, this is just the first coat; it's not permanent. And I just kind of did the door to see how that came out. Here, the roofers are doing the roof. Mm, I think it's the second or third day. All right. I mean, I know they didn't take too long to put it up. The scaffolding's still there because we still have some work we yet. Mm have to do but yeah it looks much better they have ropes on their body well yeah I mean you know that peak is pretty dangerous mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want to fall from there if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and follow us over at Instagram 
Stay tuned for the next video. Until next time, this is Jay. Matane. Bye-bye.